when you're done programming the LC method, go to those pictures on the left again and click on the top picture. That's the mass spectrometer. And when you, the window for all the mass spectrometer parameters should come up. Now, these mass spectrometer parameters are going to be a lot more complicated than the mass spectrometer parameters were on the GCMS because there's a lot more that you can do with this mass spectrometer. It's an ion trap. We're going to use it similar to how toxicologists use a triple quad. So the first thing you want to set up in this method is the tune method and that's already going to be done for you right here. Just make sure you have the LCMS tune method selected. Let's look more closely now at some of the more important parameters in the MS method. So the first is this scan mode, which we want to have set to MS. And that's really just kind of a normal mass spectrum. In a little bit, we'll talk about MSMS, which is a fragmentation spectrum. But you want to start with your MS spectrum. Next thing that we want to look at is our mass range. Now 50 to 500 is going to be pretty good for most forensic purposes for drugs and explosives and things because most organics are going to have masses between 50 and 500. When you get into biological stuff, bio, biochemistry, then you need to go bigger than 500. When you get into elemental stuff, you need to go smaller than 50. But most organics are going to tend to be between 50 and 500. Next, we have to specify what kind of ions are we looking for, positive? or negative ions. Most drugs uh, are going to form positive ions really well. They're basic and so they will accept an H plus and become a positive ion in electrospray pretty easily. So for drugs we're going to stick with positive mode. One exception is THC which you can see in positive mode but it also does well in negative mode. Explosives and some other things uh, oftentimes you're going to look at those in negative mode. So we set our LC method previously. Now we've set our MS method. We made sure the tune method was good. We said we want full mass spectra. We want to scan between 50 and 500 and look for positive ions. So our detector is all set. Our LC run is going to go with that gradient. And throughout the whole 14 minutes, the mass spectrometer is going to look for positive ions. And then remember, we had that re-equilibration that takes place after the 14 minutes where the mass spectrometer is going to shut off because it doesn't need to see that part. Just like with the GCMS though, one of the most important things about the method is to make sure that the time that the mass you want the mass spectrometer to be detecting ions is the same time that your gradient is set for. So make sure that your chromatography time matches your detector time.